Hello, my name is Julie Kevill and I'm a numeracy specialist at Middlesex University. This video tutorial is how to convert metric units. The first, th first one is convert 7.5 kilograms to grams. So I can go to my, um, my little diagram and decide that going from kilograms to grams means that I have to multiply by 1,000. So kilograms to grams, multiply by 1,000. So I write down my 7.5. And multiplying by 1,000, the quickest and easiest way to do this is to move the decimal point three places to the right. One, two, three. So the decimal points now move to the end. These empty shapes must be filled up with zeros. And to tidy up, our final answer will be 7,500 grams. It's very important to remember to put the units next to every number that you write down. OK, let's look at the second question. This is asking us to convert 0.38 milligrams to micrograms. So am I going to multiply or divide? Let's look at our diagram. And so going from milligrams to micrograms, we're going from big to small, and we're going to multiply by 1,000. So I will write down 0.38 and once again to multiply by 1000 we move the decimal point three places to the right. It's now at the end and this loop is filled with zeros. We need to tidy this up remembering that this zero here is no longer needed and so the answer is 380 micrograms. Let's look at uh, part C. Change 3.28 grams to kilograms. So once again we can use our chart to decide whether we're going to multiply or divide. So this time we can see we're going from grams to kilograms, and so we're going to divide by 1,000. So we're going to divide by 1,000. And this means that the decimal point will now move three places to the left. So I shall start with my number, 3.28, and the decimal point will jump three places. One, two, three. It's now here, and once again, I must fill up the loops with zeros, and I need to tidy this answer up. And remember, we never leave a decimal point on its own at the beginning, so I have to insert an initial zero to say there are no whole ones, and then our decimal point, and the rest of the number. And we must remember the units of kilograms. OK, let's have a look at part D. Change 0 0.084 grams to milligrams. So once again, I can refer to my chart to help me decide whether I'm going to multiply it or divide. And I can see that grams to milligrams mean that I'm going to be multiplying. So 0.084, I'm multiplying, and so I'm moving three places to the right. One. Two, three. 
The decimal point is now here. And now you can see that I don't need these two zeros at the beginning. And so my answer is simply 84 milligrams. Let's have a look at part E. This is asking us to convert 7,280 micrograms to milligrams. I can refer to my chart again. Okay, for this question we're going from micrograms to milligrams, and so this time we're going to divide by a thousand. Now this is interesting, because if I write down the number 7,280, there is no decimal point for me to move. If this is the case, if you have a number that doesn't have a decimal point, then it is always, always here at the end of the number. And now we can follow our rules to move it. So to divide by 1,000, we'll go back to the left three places. One, two, three. And so our answer here is 7.28 milligrams. Can you see that I haven't put the zero at the end because it just means there's nothing there and this is a much neater way of writing the number. Let's have a look at um, part F. Convert 88 milligrams to grams. Can you guess which way this is going to go? Let's have a look at our chart. Going from milligrams to grams, we're dividing by 1,000. Once again, there is no decimal point, and so I'm going to put it here at the end of the number. And I'm dividing, and so I'll go back three places. One, two, three, to the left. I fill my loops with zeros. And then if I tidy this up, remembering we have to have a zero before the decimal point, and then zero, eight, eight grams. To summarize this tutorial then, you need to remember how to get these units in order of size, and it's worth just practicing writing these down whenever you have a spare moment. You need to remember that when you're going from big to small, you times by 1,000. When you're going the other way, you're dividing by 1,000. I've seen students have difficulty remembering which one of these two is the largest. And sometimes I find it's worth looking at the word. For instance, here, microgram Well, this part of the word micro reminds me of microscopes. And microscopes are used to look at very small things. So this would remind me that the micrograms are the smallest in this series of um, sizes. Then we have to remember that multiplying by a thousand involves moving the decimal point three places to the right and dividing by one thousand involves moving the decimal point three places to the left. 